Do you, do, do you want to enjoy the view? Do you, come on. Come on, little guy. You know what? There you go. I'll see you, buddy. <laughs> that was so wrong. What's going on, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Besiege. Today, we're, well, we're starting off with a flying car, floating car, whatever you want to call it here. This one's called the Hurricane 3000, and it has some pretty interesting things on it, so let's uh, check those out real quick here. First of all, obviously, it, it, it floats off of the ground. I mean, it doesn't even have wheels. It, it kind of looks like a futuristic muscle car, and that looks fan-freaking-tastic to me. Also, it's got some weaponry on it. First of all, it's probably the most impressive weapon. We got some lasers. And these lasers, if I can aim this thing up, yes, they burn things on sight, as you can see. Yes, I'm burning a sheep. I'm so sorry. Once again, PETA. On top of that, we got some crossbows. Okay, maybe, you know what? Maybe I should shoot him as well. Okay, he died. Never mind. Let's go shoot another one of these guys, because everybody loves it when uh, I shoot cute little animals in games. You know, you guys don't flip out at all or anything. All right, little bull. Unfortunately, they're so short, and these things got pretty decent range on them. So, oh, 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 oh. Now you're in range, sucker. Let's see if we can get him there. Oh, Jesus. He popped like a balloon. I, I, I didn't expect him to only last one. And we got some flamethrowers on the front if you do want to uh, have a nice roasty opponent. Now also, if we kick it into overdrive here, we should be able to... Ooh, oh my god, this thing's fast. Okay, uh, yeah, overdrive engine, pretty damn crazy. Oh god, I'm gonna hit the wall. Okay, and now... now, did, did, I, did I break it? Okay, I think I, I think I broke it, guys. Uh, I, I haven't tried to fly this thing yet, so I didn't expect it to be so damn fast. All right, let's try that again here. Now, this vehicle basically has two engines, so you kind of got to control two vehicles at once. It's pretty damn interesting here, but there we go. Now we have lifted off. We got our airplane engines in place. I guess that's what, the, what they would be. And as you can see, it does work pretty damn good as an airplane as well. It has a really weird sense of flight, though. It's almost like it's uh, kind of on ice in the air. It doesn't really react really quickly like a plane would. Uh, you kind of have a little bit of a delay here. All right, I'm gonna turn off those engines and see if we can... Oh god, sorry about your house, but I did land it, and we should be able to simply drive with the ordinary engines now. That is so cool. And quite possibly the weirdest thing that this vehicle has is there's a little elevator that you can pick up stuff with. You literally just drop down from the back of your vehicle, and you can kind of scrape it on the ground here. Now let's go see if I can... It's probably not gonna be safe, but let's go see if I can pick up this bomb. This should be fun. Alright, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, that exploded. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so obviously there's some hidden blocks on this thing. We didn't technically hit it. Well, I didn't see what got hit, but uh, yes, unfortunately the vehicle did get hit. And uh, yeah, we couldn't pick up that bomb evidently. <laughs> So, I don't really know what the elevator's for, that's probably the weirdest part of this creation, but yes, you can totally pick things up in here and uh, place them inside when you're done with it, so, pretty interesting. Isn't it beautiful? We got a flying phoenix here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is supposed to bring good fortune in China. It was actually made by a Chinese developer as well. And, uh, yeah, this thing's supposed to be able to fly. You can actually walk with it as well. It's a, it's a, it's a little derpy. It's kind of adorable, though, but its flight looks absolutely fantastic. So, let's get over to that. Alright, gotta get myself sorted out here. Into flight mode we go! Let's do this thing! <laughs> Ah, it just, it looks almost realistic, so it's it's kind of creepy, but yes, you can totally fly with this beautiful bird. Uh, doing a little bit of a barrel roll here. Oh my god, it actually reacts remarkably well. And you guys know how bad I am at flying things. This thing is probably one of the easiest things to fly that I've ever seen. The only hard part is the tail does react a little bit to you, but you can see, I mean, I'm having no troubles at all flying right through this thing. Oh, that's gonna be close. That's gonna, okay, okay, okay. Almost killed myself. That was a little bit too hard of, the, of a churn for the poor phoenix, though. All right, well, it can fly. Let's see if we can land this thing. So, I have no idea how to land this, by the way. This is this is gonna be interesting. I, I have to bring out my inner phoenix and understand how this thing works. So, let's slow down, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Fucking nailed it. Look at that. <laughs> just just a little head drag on the floor. No big deal. We got this thing. 
And then I just do my strut. Look at this little thing. You can actually turn with it. I mean, this is actually remarkably well. For for an ornithopter, this one is probably one of the best ones I've seen in a while. I just love its takeoff animation. It looks like, you know, how a bird should take off. And the fact that I can actually land this and, you know, fly it around the map shows something. All right, let's go try and take down the tower with it. Let's see if it's destructive as well. I mean, it is a pretty big bird, as you can see. All right, Tower, I don't like the look of you, so I'm gonna take you down with me, bitch. There we go. <laughs> and he's totally fine. All right. This guy is more badass the more that I play with him. This is awesome. And next up, we got a hot air balloon. Now, this just isn't any hot air balloon. This one's supposed to be able to survive the freeze zone. If you don't know, if you go too high up, uh, everything basically freezes. So... This should actually take us to the top of the world, whatever that may be. Now, I figured, you know what? We're going up there. We may as well do another experiment as well. Can peasants freeze? Let's find out, because this balloon is the perfect size for one little peasant here, so hopefully I don't kill this one. Come on, just get... Uh, okay, that was way off. All right, that's looking a lot better. There we go. Let's close this thing up before he gets out. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. It's actually the perfect size for him. You can look out and everything. So, assuming I have this done correctly, we should be able to turn on the engines here, unpin the actual balloon, and as you can see, we are slowly going up. Now, we do have a boost in here, so... Uh, yes, you can add more flame, and you can go even higher. Also, this little thingy, this is actually the way to tell your direction. Look at him, he is freaking out. Uh, but yeah, basically, anywhere where this aims is where you're actually going to slowly go in that direction, at least from what the, uh, developer is telling me. I've, I've never flown in a balloon before, I have no idea how these things work. Basically, I know hot air goes inside, and the higher you go. So let's just keep going upwards, and, uh, yeah, see how high we can go. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I knocked him out. I'm so sorry, dude. We're, we're, we're going up way too fast. All right, he's just, he's just gonna sleep on the job, I guess. We're, uh, he's still alive. He's just, he's just, uh, un unconscious, it seems like. All right, we are getting really high up. We are higher than anything in the actual map right now, so we should be hitting free zone soon. I think this thing's supposed to be an indicator of free zone as well, so I'm assuming that can freeze, and that's about it. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll know when we hit it, and, uh, this guy, is he okay? Is he dead? Uh, I think he's still unconscious. Oh, we have hit freeze zone! As you can see, indicator did actually work. He's still confused. He's not actually getting up, though. Can you, can you, uh, can you wake up, buddy? Do you, do you, do you want to enjoy the view? Do you, come on, come on, little guy. You know what? There you go. I'll see ya, buddy! <laughs> was so wrong. But yes, we have passed the free zone, so let's see how high we can go in this game. I love how I can actually see the blood splatter of our fellow uh, peasant dying. The other one was the one that I killed before. Even this high up, that splatter is pretty damn huge. All right, the ground seems to be actually vanishing. Uh, we're having a little bit of a glitch here. Oh, uh, zooming out, as you can see. Oh, that, that that's really trippy. So if you zoom in, you still get a little glimpse of the ground, but if we zoom out, we are officially in besieged space, ladies and gentlemen. We can't even see the ground now, even... Okay, yeah, zooming in, you still can. But when you zoom out, there's nothing but the cosmos up here. And this is, uh... Yeah, this is pr pretty much what I expected. I didn't expect anything else. Whee! <laughs> oh, this is fun. I, I kept drag objects on. Oh my god, can we just keep this thing spinning? Can we make it go as fast as possible? It looks like there might be a limitation on how fast we can spin it. Well, this is one way to balloon travel, though. Look at this thing, man. We are spinning it up. Oh god, I broke something. I'm actually amazed at how rigid this balloon is. I mean, look at it. I am just beating this thing up. Uh, invincibility is not on, and it will not be destroyed. Can I actually... Let's try and destroy it here. I'm trying to rip it apart. It's not working, man. This thing is meant to survive this shit. All right, come on. Rip this thing off. Here, come on. Let's do this thing. Oh, my God. I can't destroy the fucking balloon. How the hell? How does it do this? <laughs> like, seriously, it won't destroy. And as you can see, I mean, I got drag objects on and infinite ammo on. That's all I got on. Somehow, this thing is indestructible. I mean, it makes sense if it can pass the freeze zone. I was hoping to actually make it fall down, but uh, that's not looking like it's going to happen. Now, we can fine-tune weight in this thing. I actually turned the engines off so you can see the ground now, but you can also add weight to the thing. Uh, this is a very slow cannon, and obviously, the more weight you add, the faster it's going to descend. So, let's just add as much as we can into this thing. There we go. That's a heavy load, and we are coming down. Not as fast as I expected, though. 
All right, this is officially the safest vehicle in Besiege, guys. Even trying to destroy it, I wasn't able to. Trying to make it crash by turning off its engines. You can see it just nicely floats down as a balloon should. I don't know if... Oh my god, look at all the fucking cannonballs. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to crash this thing. Let's see what happens when we hit the ground here. I'm hoping... It does a little bit of damage, and no, it's totally fine. Alright, well, this is officially the first creation that I could not destroy. It's still going down, but it's... I mean, I can't... Like, you can't fucking destroy this thing! Alright, I lied. It just takes a big gun, at least hopefully, to destroy this thing. So let's see what happens here when uh, we take some self-propelled artillery and attack it with it. Did I just... Oh yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm controlling both creations at once. Hopefully that balloon doesn't fly away because this is a pretty complex creation, but, uh, yes. This is a self-propelled artillery system, and, uh, yeah, as you can see, it is pretty complex back here. So we're gonna try and load this thing. Oh my god, I'm gonna hear that thing shoot a million times because every time I need to churn the one track, I actually shoot with the, uh, balloon as well. So we're gonna go back a little bit here because we were way too close to it, and, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can take this thing down. All right, turn this sucker around. It's not a fast beast, but it's gonna be a very powerful one. So, reloading this thing, probably the most complex re reloading mechanism that I've ever seen, so this should be fun. All right, let's start it up. So, first of all, we have this thing on the front, which actually holds the barrel, so I'm assuming that's for gun loading. So, we need the gun loader up right now. Uh, we have different cameras that we can use. What? Okay. Uh, this is the loading camera. You know what? I prefer... My ordinary camera. <laughs> We're checking out the uh, balloons cameras as well. Anyways, let's look back here and try and figure this thing out. So first of all, we need to open the loader. So that I can definitely do. There we go. It's opened. I hope. <laughs> now we have a crane at the top that you can control, kind of like one of those claw games, and I have to find the ammo. Now I'm thinking the ammo is in this side over here. So, I have no idea though, guys. I've never loaded this thing before, and these complex, uh... Tank creations are always fun to try and learn. Oh yeah, I actually read it. It, it. it is these boxes, so I was right. All right, so now we need to drop the grabber down, and hopefully we hear a little click. Yes, that's a little click, and up comes... Yes! I didn't expect it to look like a square, but that is the ammo that we need, so... Oh god, let's bring that up a little bit in case it explodes or something. And I'm assuming it just goes down here. You know what? Actually, we, we can drop it, so... That's probably not the safest thing to do, but it's telling me to do that, so drop it. There we go, it's in place. Now we need to push the shell in, so there we go, we push the shell in. Holy shit. And then finally, we need to close up the loader, so there we go. The shell is locked and loaded and ready to go, I hope. Alright, so now we can use this camera, and it's actually going to be helpful because we can aim this sucker up, and you know what we're going for. I'm taking this thing out. Holy shit, there's like a Star of David in this? I don't know. This is this is the weirdest aiming reticle that I've seen. Okay, so the next part says r press right alt to set the shell in on position. No idea what that means, but let's do that. Okay. It moved a bit. I think that's what I needed to do. And then press right control to fire. And, oh, oh. Jesus. Okay. It was a little bit delayed, but we did it. We fucking destroyed the thing. Hold on. I, I, I gotta go check it out. Uh, because that was... Okay. Please, please let, let me leave the cameras. I don't want the cameras anymore. <laughs> Holy shit. We, we knocked it right in half. Okay. I thought you were not gonna get destroyed, but god damn it, I did it. And you are a lie of a balloon. I'll tell you that much because there's some metal plating in there and probably a little bit of everything. All, all your magical shit. Wait, there's fire going on in there too. All right. Well... My whole goal was to destroy the thing, and god damn it, the judgment prevailed. I don't know how I reloaded this thing. That that was that was a fucking nightmare, but this thing is amazing. Alright, sorry about your gold, bros, but uh we it's been a while since we've been on this map, and I honestly this is one of the most powerful cannons that I've seen in Besiege, so I wanna see if I can shred through the side of it all the way through it. So I'm gonna aim for that major uh, wall there, and we'll see if we can knock the whole thing down. With this gun, I think it's definitely probable. Now, how this thing works, from what I understand, I, uh, well, I don't really understand it, but there's a 15-powered cannon that hits this projectile and pushes the pr this projectile out. So it uses the reaction force from the cannon to actually move the projectile. I, it's a pretty interesting design here, and that's why the uh, bullet looks so weird. And now that it's aimed, it's time for the fun part. Let's watch this in beautiful slow motion, because that's what this is all about. So first of all, 
Right alt does whatever it does, I have no idea to be honest. <laughs> and then you press right control to fire. So let's get it down to about, eh, let's try 5%. Now there is a little bit of delay here because it is a re reaction based shot. So I've shot it. We're just waiting. There it goes. And oh shit. It did get affected by that rock, and you saw that little bit of shrapnel go through, and it still took down a lot of the wall, but obviously, the brute force was taken out by that damn rock that I thought would be totally fine. Uh, maybe we should try from this side, then. It's probably a lot easier to aim. Uh, that's not good. That's not... You know what? Let's just pull that out of there. I think that's... Yes, that's literally side of my cannon, uh, but I don't think we need that piece, so we should be okay. Now, I'm going to aim this up for, once again, the major back wall here. I did take down the rocks, just in case they still get in our way. That looks more or less good. Let's aim this thing up and get ready to shoot it once again. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't good either. You know what? Let's try and lift this up a little bit. My damn grabber got stuck in the fucking thing! Oh, you know what? This this is going to be a backfire. I kind of want to see that anyways. What happens when it explodes in its chamber? So hopefully that happens here. We're just going to try it out, and obviously I'll just re reload another one here. But uh, yeah, this should be interesting too. All right, there we go. I shot it. Waiting. Waiting. Still waiting. There oh, shit! Okay, it actually worked. Holy fuck, we missed it! Pa, ah, that was awesome looking too. And... All right, there goes most of the castle. Well, I guess we gotta try again because the, I didn't even realize that was aimed up. All right, third time's a charm. We got this thing now. So drop that down so it doesn't break it. That actually looks perfect. So we are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this thing going. We're gonna go nice and slow. And uh, yeah, we're gonna explode this thing once again and actually get a good view at it. All right, shot has started. It should take a second. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. I was hoping it would go all the way through before it exploded, but uh, obviously we're not going to get that. Regardless, this shrapnel might actually take down this other tower, or it's going to be close. I think it's going to be safe. Damn it, we only got the middle one. This guy's flying through the air, though. Ah, uh, yeah, that's still a shitload of destruction for one shot. Oh, the back tower actually collapsed as well. Oh, that's so cool to watch. Unfortunately, we still got one tower up. Regardless, this is one awesome... It's basically a gun. Let's call it that. I guess you could call it... Is it a tank destroyer? I don't know. I mean, it looks kind of like a tank destroyer. It's self-propelled artillery. So, yeah, the Judgment did a lot of damage here, man. All right, guys, and that's gonna... Oh, jeez. All right, guys, and that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Checking out some more obviously awesome uh, creations. Wow, this uh, Viking Viking... Uh, definitely doesn't like to stay on his wheel. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm having clearly a hard time being a, a Viking Viking, guys. I, 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 don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, C Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna reset it. There we go. But yeah, this is gonna wrap it up for this episode of the best... <sighs> Fuck! Besiege Creations, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, checking out, obviously, some uh, very awesome, interesting creations. I mean, we went to space this week, but this Viking Viking just does not want to work with me, man. I mean... He is just having problems here. His name's really cool, though. Biking Viking. Anyway, oh, fuck it. I, 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 I give up, guys. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you. Oh, I did it in the next one.